Good morning, Year 4. If you missed the live lesson this morning, uh, this lesson is here for you to use to catch up and ensure that your maths work is completed. We are continuing on from yesterday's lesson and we are going to look at the practicing challenge What other facts do you know? Question 5. Um, question 5, uh, the fact that you are given is 5 multiplied by 4 equals. So you know that 5 multiplied by 4 equals 20. We're then going to make that 10 times bigger. So the 5 ones um, becomes 5 tens. And we now have 50. If you're using a place value grid, you move the digits one place to the left. So 50 multiplied by 4 equals, and you will note that my answer should be an answer which is 10 times bigger than the previous one. So 50 multiplied by 4 equals 200. And now I'm going to show you another fact, fact which I know and I'm going to now make it 10 times bigger again. So the 5 tens now becomes 5 hundredths. If you're using a place value grid you're now going to move that out of the 5 tens and you're going to move it one place to the left so that the 5 tens is now in the 5 hundreds value. So we know that 500 multiplied by 4 equals and I'm going to use my previous facts that I know. So I know I need to make it 10 times greater or bigger than my previous answer. So I know that 500 multiplied by 4 equals 2000. And that's an example of how you need to set and lay these out. If you are unsure or need support with your division and or multiplication, you will notice that I've also provided you with a multiplication grid so that you can use this to support your work where needed. The next practicing challenge is asking you what other facts you know. So I'm going to complete this here. It's giving you fact one, fact number one. Four multiplied by three. So I know that four multiplied by three equals 12. I'm going to use this fact to find, uh, to find out other facts. I'm going to start by making the four 10 times bigger or moving it if you are using your place value grid from the 4 being in the 1s column to the 4 being in the 10s. And I now have 40 and I am going to multiply that by 3 and I know that my answer should now be 10 times greater than the previous answer so I now have 120. I'm now going to again make this 10 times greater. So if you are using the place value grid, your four tens is moved one place to the left to make your to make it 10 times bigger. So your four tens becomes 400. And I'm going to multiply that by three. And it should equal, and it does equal, an answer which is going to be 10 times bigger than the previous answer. So I know that 400 multiplied by 3 gives me an answer of 1,200. Now, I can also use this to help me to find out some other facts. And I'm going to start this one 
and I'm going to say 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. And instead of making 4 10 times bigger or 100 times bigger, I'm now going to focus on making the 3 10 times bigger and then 10 times bigger again. So 4 multiplied by and my 3, which would be in my 1's place value, is now going to be moved one place to the left to make it 10 times bigger. And it's going to go, I'm now going to have 3 tens, which is 30. So I know that 4 multiplied by 30, remember it should give you an answer or be equal to a number which is 10 times greater than your previous answer. So I know that 4 multiplied by 30 equals 120. I'm also going to share one other fact. I'm going to keep the 4 again the same. And I'm going to do 4 multiplied by, and I'm going to make this 10 times bigger than the previous example. So I had 30. This is now going to be 300. You will notice that your three tens moves one place to the left if you are using the place value grid and your three tens now become three hundreds. So I know that four multiplied by three hundred and remember it should equal an answer which is ten times bigger than your previous answer. So 4 multiplied by 300 equals 1,200. So that is an example of number 1. 4 multiplied by 3 and answering the question, which is what other facts do you know? Now, we are going to... Um, look at the final practicing challenge and this asks can you solve these divisions now again please do bear in mind that I have provided you with a multiplication grid which you can use to support your multiplication and also to help you with your division so I'm going to have a go at the first one can you solve these divisions? So it's, it's 120 divided by 4. Now, before I answer this and find out what it equals, I'm going to use what I've been practicing throughout today's lesson. And instead of making it 10 times greater, 10 times bigger, I'm now going to do the inverse of the multiplication so I'm going to divide it and I'm going to make it 10 times smaller so I'm going to move it each of the digits one place to the right on my place value grid if you are using those and you will note that it is 12 so I have now made it 10 times smaller and this is going to help me with my division fact. So 12 divided by 4 which I know is 3 and please do use your multiplication grid to support your multiplication and division if you need to. Now with this fact, 12 divided by 4 equals 3, I can now complete the um, division that I've been asked to solve. So I can see that 120 is 10 times bigger, that each of the digits has now been moved one place to the left. So my two ones now become two tens 
and my 110 now becomes 100. I have 120, I need to divide it by 4. And if I look at the 12 divided by 4, which I know equals 3, I need to have a equals, which is 10 times greater. So 120 divided by 4 equals 30. And that's an example of how you can use and complete this practicing challenge. For those of you who do move on to the thinking, you can have a go at answering these. What is the sign? What is the difference? So what is the sign? Now, you may wish before you start to write what is the sign, what is the difference, you might wish to first start by answering each of the each of these. So you might start by doing four multiplied by three equals twelve. Forty multiplied by three equals and I know it's going to give me an answer which is ten times ten times bigger. Um, 40 multiplied by 3 equals 120. I also have a 4 multiplied by 30, which equals 120. And finally, I have a 4 multiplied by 300, which equals... And now I can see that the answer to this should be um, 10 times bigger. So 4 multiplied by 300 equals 1,200. Now, with this additional information, I can start to represent what is the same and what is different. So I can see, for example, that 40 multiplied by 3 equals 120 and I can see that actually that is is the same as 40 multiplied by 3 which equals 120. I can also see actually um, that 4 let me see that 4 multiplied by 30 equals 120 and I can see that that is the that that equals the same as 40 multiplied by 3 which equals 120. So those are just two examples of what you could share with me which is the same. There are others so please make sure you give me quite a few examples. And now we're going to have a look at what's, what is the difference. Um, here we could have one example to say that um, 40 multiplied by 3 equals 120 and that is 10 times bigger than 4 multiplied by 3 which equals 12. You can, that's one example. You can also give me examples of is 10 times smaller than, or is 100 times smaller than, or is 100 times bigger than. So those are just some of the differences. I would like you now to go and log into your Doodle account please. And could you make sure that you complete the practicing challenges that have been assigned to you and also the thinking challenge that has been assigned to you. Thank you.